morning. Um, welcome to my second video. Um, let's get right into it as there have been a few developments since yesterday. Um, just to mention, I will be getting a new microphone as this one appears to be faulty. Okay, um, starting with bullish pairs, um, Australian New Zealand dollar, this remains very bullish. There has not been a pullback and there probably will not be a pullback today. Um, we are still in the third wave here, leading diagonal for one, possibly a one, two, three, four, five here for three, so we would need a fourth wave correction. I'm still looking around the 105.70 area for that. Um, I will go over this more on the weekend for an update, but for now, there's a lot of pent up energy in this, and it is very, very bullish. So a move to 108 um, in the near term is very easy before a correction for a couple hundred pips down. Um, there is also, there were some developments in yen pairs yesterday, which have started a new bullish uptrend. Um, as I showed, I was looking for a reversal at the 38.2 of wave three here for wave four, which we did get. I adjusted the count slightly. Uh, this is dollar yen. Um, WXY pattern for wave four into 38.2. Um, it's similar to ending diagonal. Uh, more importantly, it's propulsive from the low. Just to go down to the one hour, we are in wave three here. We had a five wave move for wave one, a three wave correction for two. Um, for wave one of three, we had a leading diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, probably. Or one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, something like this. We are still in wave three overall. And uh, we'll be looking for a correction for wave four, so long as it remains within the whole trending structure, maybe to 103, something like that. <clears throat> the 55 EMA level. As you can see, it is reactive on the four hour. But for now, we are bullish and it has turned well here above the eight EMA, which is always in play in trends on every time frame, as you'll see again and again. It's the best EMA that I know of. So, any uh, sideways correction here for a triangle or a bullish channel will be a buy. The dollar is still bullish. Similar with the yen, there was a correction into 38.2 of wave 3 for wave 4. Um, essentially, if you look out onto the weekly chart, we've had a bounce off the broken trend line here. We are still looking for wave four to move higher. There is a simple three wave correction for wave for wave five to move higher. Simple wave three wave correction for wave four here. And um, any type of bullish looking correction will be a buy. I do not have such a clear count on this. It's into immediate resistance if you want to draw something like that, broken support. Um, so we may see a correction for wave four. Right now, I would say it's still in the first motive wave. Some type of maybe step, one step at a time, leading diagonal. Three wave move, one, two, three, four, five. So a correction to 120, 50 area, maybe. But again, it is bullish and it is channeling. There is no reason to look for it to break down. Both the end pairs are only buys. Um, and there is some development in pound pairs. Um, one of the pairs I like the most is pound Canadian dollar. Um, looking at this in the long term, 
There's been a long down move, as with a few Canadian dollar pairs from 2015. Um, I put a count on this yesterday, and it could be marked as a long-winded, more awkward ABC correction, AB and a very long C, but it looks a bit ridiculous. Um, the reason is there's a truncation here. So if you just ignore this top part, most importantly, we have a very clear five-wave structure down into January of this year. Five waves, one, two, three, four, and five here. Um, we've had a very strong impulse from that low, and we are still correcting that, evidently. Um, there's significant resistance across here. I am on the four hour from that January low. There's a clear five wave motive. Three waves here, and I was marking this, I still am, but um, I'm doubtful now that this is a five-wave move. We only have one, two, and three up. There's no high here. That was a little three-wave gyration, so I was setting this up as wave four, but as you can see, although it has not broken the top of wave one, it is taking up too much time. Um, the structure is becoming too broad at the moment. It's valid, but it's it's pushing the limits. Usually you want to see these motive structures within single one-wave leaps. Um, and by that, I mean something like this. Five waves, no nonsense, just straight up, basically, with sufficient gyrations to mark it as five waves. With this one already, you are getting a bit too broad and choppy a look. It's not a leading diagonal. So we'll see if it breaks here. It's not the trend line that's important. It's the intersection of wave four and wave one. So one, six, three, six, one, six, three, six, three. Any price interaction there. We'll be looking for it to come back to the one, six, two area beneath here for one more correction and then a new break above. So this three wave move would be A then, or W. Three waves for X, and another three wave gyration for Y to take this up, and then we are very bullish on this for a third wave. Um, normally price after a five wave correction, five wave move, a correction will return to the fourth wave of one lower degree lesser degree. So that would be wave four of wave three. So we're looking at about a 174 area. So essentially a thousand points with a very low risk of some, well, if we do see 162, um, 500, which I will not be trading, obviously, but I will be looking for any buy here if we get there, a very low risk for an enormous move. So this is one of the best pairs I can see at the moment. Um, the pound does have a bullish edge as well against the New Zealand dollar. New Zealand is very weak, and it's going to remain weak in my view. Um, I showed this yesterday. From the November low, there was a five-wave impulse, a three-wave correction. We're mark I'm marking the first five waves as A. Awkward for B, um, but it's fine. B wave triangle here and the larger B into this move. Um, three waves here. Show this a bit closer. One, two, three, four, five for A, B, and C. So A, three waves here for B. And now we're going into C of larger C. So this could be five waves from a few days ago, one, two, three, four, five. It could also simply be one, two, three, and we need four and five. As long as it doesn't overstretch, that's valid. But uh, the point is that it's looking quite bullish. Um, any correction here into a marked level would be worth looking at. The ATMA will help find support. There's obviously horizontal resistance across here, which I don't usually look for, but it's there, other traders do, so it's worth just being aware of. Um, 
But this pair again is very bullish, uh, not very bullish, but it is bullish at the moment. We have a three wave move so far from the low. I'm expecting, from the high rather here, I'm expecting a fourth wave correction around 1.8, 1 1.9. 1 and then another new low after that. But uh, not to overstretch this, very simply, any type of uh, bullish looking correction into here will be a buy for at least a few hundred points up with very low risk. Um, so long as this B level remains valid and is not broken, there is a bullish trend going on here in the short medium term for a few months. So both these pairs look very good. Let's stick with the pound. I don't have a clear view on cable at the moment. I am looking for higher for wave four and then a new low ultimately. So 1.2 way, 1.3. Um, it has made, a f it made five waves into here. I was looking at this as a three wave correction. It's become a bit unclear now. I don't have a view and I'm not going to get into it because there are too many good opportunities out there. Um, stick with New Zealand still, New Zealand dollar, it's weak. I went over this pair yesterday. If you disregard the sheer strength of last month, you have to acknowledge that that strength was choppy. That's not an impulsive wave. It's strong, but a mess. Yes, there could be a further gyration up here, but I am viewing this whole X wave at the moment as complete. It's an interesting pair, actually, and I would suspect, uh, due to the channeling from last year, it has a bullish view at the moment for another high, but I do not think so. From 2015, A, B, and C correction, ending diagonal for C. A mess here. I was also looking at a leading diagonal for wave one, but I don't think so. So you would have one, two, three, four, five for a leading diagonal. But these are threes, mostly. Well, this is, anyway. Um, leading diagonals tend to be five wave moves. And this correction for what would be wave two looks ridiculous. Often, corrections out of leading diagonals are very, very small. As we saw yesterday on US dollar yen, a correction on a leading diagonal is usually very brief. I have lots of examples of this. Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, leading diagonal, very brief correction. So I'm not buying that. The move so far on New Zealand dollar it could be counted as five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we have one more short low and then we'll get a bounce for a few days into next week. <sighs> Five waves for one, three wave correction for two. One, two, three, four. This could be wave three, wave four, and now some type of wave five. We have divergence going on. It will probably turn out to be something like this. It's a strong move so far. A few days of correction, possibly. Similar to this, strong move, a few days of correction. And then a sell next week sub 250 basically on the weekly uh, uh, there's still a chance to go a bit higher we are above the 8 EMA but again there's no reason to be bullish on this pair now we have a five wave structure Euro New Zealand um, I went over this as well yesterday Five waves, mode of wave, 2015, 18-month correction, an ending diagonal. We have the gyrations for it to be complete. One, two, three, four, five. 
if this fails to move higher, we could see one more low, but I'm not looking for that at the moment. It's been good. It's been a good turn on the weekly. Um, from the low, we broke in a channel. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Could also be one, two, three, wave four into here and wave five to one, five, oh, or so, because there is that larger ending diagonal resistance going on. So um, this is a buy setup on any three wave correction or retest of the channel line anywhere into 147x. We'll see this move higher in my opinion. For it to fail, it would have to crack this and ultimately come down too, too deep and too choppy. Um, but even that truly can be marked as five waves, I think. Deeper correction. So long as the correction is choppy, we are remaining bullish on this. We're bullish even if it makes a new low, still bullish. Um, okay, let's see what else. Euro dollar. The whole move from January, it's a choppy three wave mess. I don't have it labeled here. I have to put some labeling on the longer term here. Um, I went over this yesterday, A, B, and C. It's only a three-wave move since January. Um, this here is not terribly steep, but it is five waves. So at, at a minimum, a correction should see another wave down. I'm looking for a deeper down move. However, I've already put the fibs on for a correction of this. Wave one, two. One, two, three, four, five, for three, four, and five. We've had a first part of a correction. I would expect this area to hold another correction into 1074 area as long as it's beneath the last high. Ultimately looking for a move sub 103, sub January. I'll go over this long-term chart and I'll start labeling it um, this weekend. It is still bearish. There is no end yet to the dollar bulls. Um, none at all, actually. I'm not watching gold, not watching Aussie yen. Euro, Canadian dollar. I had this, uh, I haven't done the labeling on this in ages. I had to change accounts. Um, US dollar, Canadian dollar. This is still one of the best short-term trades. Just need to set up a further down move. 2015 down move. A, well, mess of a correction for ages. But we've had two motive waves since the wave too high. I would say this is fully bearish with a broken trend line channel. May see move up to 10. 321033, three. but for now, the two motive waves from the wave too high, wave five to here, sorry, five wave move here to here for one, ABC for two, another five wave move for one of three, and I would say we are in two of three now, probably for a new high to 1325X, 133. Three. Could be AB, one, two, three, four, five. For C. So I'm not bearish today, but I am bearish overall. It's managed to hold this level. Next week I will be bearish on this pair. Any bear flag, any type of reversal signal like this, shooting star candle at certain areas, these candles are excellent. In trends, they're excellent. Against trends, they tend to fail. Um, and the trend here is clearly down. I do not have a bullish view on this. I do not see a view that this is corrected further. I think we've done more than enough to pull this off for WXYXZ. Um, again, we have this. I don't really care if this breaks out to the upside. We have too much resistance above it. We'll see how it works out at the moment.
and we had the high here, so that's not something that I would look for at all. It's a waste of time not. We deal with motive waves, price structure, and it's clearly bearish still. Um, the weekly is not showing any kind of reversal as such. We simply turn around. We'll take a look at the cash. Not clear on euro pound overall. Uh, from the July 2015 low, we've already had five waves up in euro pound. I'm not looking for a new high as such. One, two, three, four, five. There is an alternative view. There's one, two, three. This is wave four, and we have another high to come. I don't see that right now, given the whole structure here. We do have trend line support. Could see a spike through here and a move up for three wave correction. It's not clear, but it is looking down at the moment. This is just a choppy mess up so far. And uh, I'll end it on this. Australian dollar, US dollar. There's a positive motive wave at the start of 2000, or end of 2016. Sorry, start of 2016. Um, we've had a long correction for ages. It could be triangulating for a new low or an ultimate new low, still above, um, still bullish overall. But uh, within this whole structure, I am bearish. I'm looking for a C wave of a triangle here. We do have enough for three waves from the low. However, there's no bearish impulse on this yet. So another move up in Australian dollar and then a reversal next week. So there's no end yet to this chop up. There's nothing, nothing uh, bearish about this yet. So we stay out of this, we stay out of cable. These pairs simply don't have an edge. The pairs that are offering an edge today and next week, mainly Aussie, New Zealand, this is outrageously bullish with a lot of pent up energy. I'll go over it more on the weekend. Euro, New Zealand, the cable, uh, the pound pairs as well, and the Aussie pairs. The Aussie pairs look very good. And then follow up next week, US dollar, Canadian dollar, and Euro dollar as well, and New Zealand dollar. So yen pairs, Aussie, New Zealand, and the British pairs for a bounce, for the bloody Brits. All right, thank you, good luck, and uh, I'll sort out the sound this weekend, hopefully, and I'll continue with these videos. They help me. And if they help elucidate this market to anyone else, I'll be happy with that. Any questions, let me know. And um, good luck. Nice weekend. Bye-bye.